Hello, and we're here at the Disneyland Resort, and we're gonna show you what are the what's the process to get a wheelchair because Michelle needs one, and we're gonna show you and what kind of rides can you go on that's wheelchair accessible. So here are your prices for the strollers. We got the single stroller, eighteen dollars. Double stroller, thirty-six. Electric, eighty plus tax. Any basic wheelchair is thirty-five dollars per day. Fifteen plus twenty-dollar deposit. Includes twenty-dollar refundable deposit with a return of the wheelchair and receipt. And this is your ticket, you guys. Make sure you do not lose it. This will get you your deposit back. I have a backpack on, so I'm gonna put it in the backpack because I tend to lose lose things here no, at Disneyland Park. He, he loses a lot of things. So do you. <laughs> so there is a there's a sign that you an extra route for people that are in wheelchairs that want to meet Santa. We're going downhill. Oh no. <laughs> Flashback. I gotta wash my hands. I have no idea how many people. Sorry, mom. <laughs> So for the wheelchair option, they gave you two options. One of your party members can stand in the regular line and then they'll meet up with you up top or they can give you a return time. Which? We did the return time. Oh, I already bent it. Yay. See? Santa. <laughs> <laughs> and Lydia and Noah are going to do this over here. <laughs> let go, let go. <laughs> that was funny. What's your name? You say Lydia? Never Lydia. It's happy to see the baby. No. Uh, Noah, here we are. Oh my goodness, you are not going to believe this. You made the nice things. <laughs> <laughs> So hey, we're at Disneyland, but I forgot to tell you, mention uh, what was our experience for two of the rides we were on. Um, we went on uh, Ariel, Little Mermaid, and we went on uh, Toy Story Mania. For those ones, we actually went through the entrance all the way through it, right when they asked you how many is in your party. They directed us to a different area where we could park our stroller, I mean our wheelchair, and then we actually went to the section where they actually uh, slow the ride for us, because Michelle, can't walk that fast so that was one of the different uh, alternatives that we got for the wheelchair. Alright. Last one's in, last one's out. Alright. Every ride is going to be different on how they uh, do the wheelchair accessibility. We just got off of Haunted Mansion, and for that one, you went. You have to go to the, the exit. The exit. And they're gonna give you a, um, a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the colors are the same. But we got green, and no, no we, no, got, we got, red. got orange. We got orange. Orange means that they try to get you as close as possible with the wheelchair. Green was that you could walk on the ride, like you're yes. able to walk. Um, and what else? We almost got an in-show exit. We were the last ones before they shut the ride down. I was yeah. so mad. Which Probably. I'm very curious, what do they do if the ride breaks down and you are in a wheelchair and you can't walk? Yeah, I wonder. So. That'd be a real cool experience. And Got Michelle uh, is going to show you a video. <laughs> um, what? When, you, when you exit... When, when you, you uh, video? When you get on the ride, you're going to go to the fast uh, lightning lane. Yeah. And then they're going to take you down in the, the wheelchair. They want you to go to the left side. Yeah, the left side. Yeah, the left side. When you exit. And then they're going to ask you all the questions. If you want the ride to stop or slow down. Mm -hmm. They put stickers on your doom buggy. Yeah. So they know what, what you are or whatever. Yeah. Then at the end of the ride, you don't get off of your doom buggy. It goes all the way back to the front. Which is pretty cool. 
Yeah, and then you go out of this uh, on the other side, and then you go back into the elevator, and you get to go up, back up the elevator, which is also cool. Which I'm gonna put a video of Michelle recording <laughs> that. It's pretty cool, honestly. Okay, it's been a few days, so what did we learn? We learned that you won't get your money right away if you paid card. It's been like uh, about four days. We still haven't got our $20 deposit, but if you did pay cash, you'll get it right away. And we don't think the weekends count, so it goes by weekdays. And we also learned that majority of Fantasyland rides, you're gonna have to do a return time. And you can only do one reserve reservation for a return time at a time. We're going to link down the information of every single ride that you could go on that you must transfer to or you don't have to. There are some lim limitations on some rides you cannot do like uh, Tom Snowy Pirate Slayer. There's some areas you cannot get into with a wheelchair. Like for instance, the cave is very tight. You won't be able to go on there, but you can go around the, the, um, the island. But we're going to link down the information. It's a whole list. I'll show you right, a, little t a little teaser. It's a big list. A lot of uh, rides we can and cannot do with the wheelchair. If there's anything you don't understand, you can always ask a cast member. They'll more than happy to help you. And you can go to Town Hall for uh, extra benefits that you might need for your disability. They'll probably give you a map as well. But there's also a phone number I also put on the screen that you can call if you have any questions. So here's a playlist. Not a playlist. Here's a video you might want to check out. We're the Duke family. Please subscribe, hit that bell. We'll see you next time. Bye.